I had a call with Chase this morning and he was gushing with compliments after he binged a few of my videos. He said that I'm funny, which I don't think I'm really funny at all. And he said that I'm wise and have things to teach people and I don't really think of myself of that either. And then he said I have swagger, which I don't think I have really. Like my friend Jake is like, you don't have any swagger and I, I believed him. Chase was telling me the exact opposite of what Jake tells me. And by the way, I cut, I blocked Jake on all the chatting apps because he was just swearing at me for no reason. And I realized he does this a lot. Like he just treats me like shit verbally. And so I blocked him and I don't have any reason to unblock him. But Jake would tell me things like, you have no swagger, you have no medioc, which is the Korean word for swagger, I guess. Like you don't have anything going for you that girls would like. Like you're not very tall, you're five foot eight, like 173 centimeters, you're skinny. And if anything, you just have your skinny fat and you get a belly. You're not funny. You're not sexual. Like basically he was telling me I have nothing attractiveness wise going for girls. And that's why I get friend zoned again and again and again. But Chase was pretty much telling me the exact opposite. That I'm funny. That I have swagger. That I'm wise. That I'm, I guess the vulnerable is the only thing that I agree with him. Like I have an authenticity about me. That I agree with. But the other stuff, I was like, like, whoa, really? You really think that about me? I was I was kind of shocked, to be honest. Like, I never considered myself funny or super wise or swagger, really? I did. So that was a real ego boost, <laughs> confidence booster this morning when I was talking to him. And yeah, he was saying that he was just being a mirror and showing me the true me. And yeah, it just made me think, oh, maybe I do have some things going for me. I think talking to my friend Jake, which I used to talk with him quite for a while. Like sometimes I wouldn't talk to him for months, but sometimes I'd talk to him multiple times a week. I think talking to him has gotten my confidence down even more. And talking with Chase had the opposite effect where he boosted my confidence. So I'm like, yeah, maybe it is a good thing for the better that I cut Jake out of my life and have more friends like Chase who see the good in me. I definitely want to talk to Chase again also because we seem to have a lot in common, both in terms of our YouTube approach and our attitude towards, like we both have a generally positive attitude as well. I think Chase has more of a positive attitude than me actually. But anyways, like meeting these people like Chase and Gabby through these through the mastermind fellow YouTubers on this journey, it's been really invaluable. Invaluable, is that the right word? Like priceless. It's been it's been great. Niels as well, obviously, my accountability partner that I talk to every day. So yeah, I just wanted to add that part.